What's up guys, what's going on? It's your girl Ken. If you're new here, welcome. For those that have been here before. You thought I was playing with you, man. Make sure you copy some of this. It's perfect for any season, for any reason. But other than that, you doing good though, player? All right, man, that's all that matters. ASAP, my boy ASAP has come out from the woods of doing features and little, little singles here and there to give us a full album. Thank you. It's been since 2015, my boy. It's good to see you again. How you do? How's the family? They doing good? All right, that's what's up. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. First of all, first of all, no. I got the surround sound for y'all. And make sure you have something to drink. You gotta stay hydrated for something like this. Don't come for me. I have goals I'm trying to achieve. So the album is called Testing. It has 15 songs on it. We're gonna play this in order. And, uh, oh my God. Y'all, Frank Ocean is on here. French Montana, Juicy J, go ahead, Black. Let's go ahead and get into this, okay? So, first song is called Distorted Records. This makes me think something's wrong with my speaker. <laughs> like, uh, boy. Uh, I can feel the bass. From the cemetery, heard the worst things. Like if I'm in your top ten, mine's better be the first name. I wish your mother even worse things. My newest president, an asshole. I guess that's why I'm leaving terse things. My ex. Yeah, hold on. Let me play that back. I want to make sure I heard that right. One second. My newest president, an asshole. I guess that's why I'm leaving Thursday. Make the floor break. Big bass, make the world shake. Ooh. Block a while, he goes an earthquake. Ah. Okay. First song. Um, I'm rolling with it. I'm rolling with it. Um, I feel like it can only get more intense and more amplified from this first song. That That's just the vibe that I'm getting. I am putting my full expectations into this album, okay? I do not expect to be disappointed. So let me go ahead and speak that into existence right now. I do like that one part where like the, the bass was really like boom, boom. I, I like that. So the beat was pretty cool. I like the beat. With the lyrics, I like the part about the president. I know we all heard the part about the president, so you don't hear me complaining. I even played it twice. So the next one is ASAP Forever. I haven't heard this one yet. I already know it was released, but I haven't heard it. So here we go. Dang, 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 dang. Anybody ever took the time to ask Rocky what ASAP means on? Well, if so, he'll probably say, always straight. The God, in love with my bitch, cause she bought my eyes like the stars. I tell that bitch, cover your eyes. Cause fucking with me, you go blind. She losing her mind. We kiss the Frank Ocean and blind. Convincing my bitch to go alone, die below. Ain't talking about spending no buying clothes. I'm about my business, but I'm alone. I still had the vision when I was broke. I'm about my business, but I'm alone. Y'all, take notes of that, like for real. You don't need to welcome everybody into your circle. I'm just saying. I put New York on the map. I put the gang on the plane. They gon' remember them. Are y'all listening to the music in the back as well? Like that. Mm, like I've always loved his production for his songs. It's just to me, it's never predictable. But when you hear it, that's like that's ASAP. You know what I'm saying? I'm free as a bird. I wanted to share my whole life. I had all this stress on my mind until I realized things to play. Was up in the city, the one that's surrounded by lights. Wanted to bully the way, get out of his lane. Got no time to leave no advice. Except for my mama. Right. There's a minute left. A minute left in the song. I'm trying to figure out if he's gonna like let it mellow out like this. Truth, truth, I'm still sticking to the whole it's gonna keep getting better from here type of thing because to me that was already like a step up from distorted records. I really like the versatility of it, like the beat just kind of it wasn't it was consistent, but then towards kind of like after the three minute mark, it was starting to become like its own, its different beat. Uh more kind of like mellow, mixed with a little bit of like a 
I don't know, I feel like an old school type of type of thing. And then the girl's voice was added. It was just like two completely different segments. Am I making sense here? I hope so. Next one is Tony Tone. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Wait a minute. We're gonna run that back. Folks are so Yeah, I heard it right. Man. Spray his kids and saw some chicks he wouldn't raise his kids with. Yo. Listen. I feel like mainly guys watch my videos too. Y'all. Listen, alright? Don't be spraying your kids and saw some chicks you wouldn't raise your kids with. What's the point, man? What's the point? What you say, nigga? Time's out. Let's start over with this conversation. You sound super crazy right now. And I got my two kids listening. I'm just playing. You be a what? I said, I'm just Uh-uh, nigga, you got me fucked up. Nah, sis, he's being logical. Five roasters, and lean, and beans, tomatoes, potatoes, and keys, and grams, just me, and yams. Yo, yo, yo. Man. Yo. See, this is what I like. Even if the beat is consistent, he can switch up the flow. I, I'm a fan, well, let me rephrase. I appreciate when any artist can do something like that where they can keep the same beat. It may not switch up too, too much, but then they can switch up the delivery. They can switch up the flow. You get what I'm saying? I, I just appreciate it. So, thank you, ASAP. He's not the only one that does that, but like I said, I appreciate when it's done. Hey, Yo. Okay. It's going up and up and up, dude. We're only on the third song. The third song out of 15. And it's just... Is it just me? Is anyone else feeling what I'm feeling? Yeah, I'm here for that song, Tony Tone. I like that one. I really like that one. Y'all gonna think I'm childish. I don't care. That's the next one. Okay. Yo, why can't she just read the title? Y'all, YouTube be tripping, all right? Police, enemies, fake homies. Can't forget that I'm a hoji. Better act like you know. Blunt smoke, smoke weed, cold deep, cold. Tell the hey. Okay. I was cooking up another fucking title way. Had to get the title motherfuckers out of the way. That was different. Had to take. Such is righteous, I virus my mind to some. Yo! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know this girl. I know this girl. Okay, I just. I went back out. Cause like. When you're playing it like this, it didn't show you who it featured, right? So I went back, so I'm like, she sounds, you know, familiar is what I'm thinking. FKA Twigs, what's up, shawty? Yo, I like, I like her music. I really do. Enemies, fake homies, can't forget that I'm a hoji. Better act like you know it. Okay, um, even though she was on there, you know, I think her voice went well for the part that she was on um i thought that one was okay it was i mean it was really self-explanatory if you're listening to the lyrics so uh bump everybody 
except myself, you know, because I'm the OG, you feel me? So, yeah, I mean, that was pretty self-explanatory, like I said. But, yeah, I thought that one was okay. So, the next one is Praise the Lord, The Shine. And this one has Skepta in it. Definitely like a higher tempo type of thing already. Get it? Text a message, I don't know the number. Flexing okay. on these niggas, every bone and muscle. Steady taking shots, never hurt. And when it's time to fuck my shade, be all my pants below. Oh. Create, explore, okay. expand, concord. I came, I saw. I again, came. again, again, the flow. I like that. Like, you saw how he, like, well, did you hear how he just switched it up with his voice? Hold on, we go. Do y'all hear that? Vacuum? She's done vacuuming. But what I was trying to say was, I like how he switched up the flow a little bit. Like, listen. Smoking when it's time to fuck my shade. Be all my pants below. Create, explore, expand, concord. Yeah. I sold the pack, the loose, the hard. Yeah. I listen, okay, the ex, I beat, hate the devil, the weak, the knees. You hate, you lame, you lost, I came, I saw, I came, I saw. Okay, the, the thing that I like about Skepta's verse is how he delivered it, like how he was like, da na, na na, na na, na na, only because it went right back into the chorus perfectly. Okay, the biggest thing from that is how the beat was consistent, the flow switched up. I like that um, because when you listen like the beat just kind of repeats itself um, the entire song so yeah except for like a few parts I feel like a lot of these songs so far are pretty self-explanatory it's the only reason why I'm not really dissecting a bunch of these this next one I'm excited for is Call Drops with Kodak Black <laughs> One minute and 17 seconds into the song with only a minute and 25 seconds left I'm just wondering if it's gonna switch up anytime but I can't imagine this being the entire song but we're gonna see this is a prepaid collect call from That is crazy. This boy did this from jail over the phone. This call has dropped. To add more credits, please press one. Free Kodak. <laughs> Yo. I gotta put my peanuts down on that one. I gotta put them right back in the... That was cool, that was cool ASAP. But all right, here's Buck Shots. I thought that one was okay. Yes, I did like the beat. Yes, but um, listen to the lyrics and everything like that. I mean, it was straight. So this one is Guns and Butter with Juicy J. Mm. 
pounds and dollars, pay so honey, bows and power. Okay. I might not be able to bop my head to this one because it's like, <laughs> because it's like it's kind of switching up on me so fast in different parts. It's like uh, 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 type of thing. Rocky, this is Hector, bro. We got to hold on a second, bro. There's an issue going on back here. All black AK, the president, then the a hole up with Frank and Paul and JFK. Yo, he is not holding back from uh on Trump. You don't hear me complaining once again. We praying for a JFK. All we got was KKK, AKA, AK that you do like certain parts of the song more than others. I couldn't necessarily kind of like get like a consistent flow with this. I thought it was okay. I do like, um, I liked how, I like Juicy J's parts in it as far as like the, the distortion of his voice. Next one is called Brother Man with French Montana. So here we go. <laughs> Are you hearing the transition of music in the back? I need y'all to like listen to every single thing, listen to all the instruments, listen to every single thing, and listen to the lyrics at the same time. It takes skilled multitasking, okay? But I believe in you. I believe in all of you. But that, that, like I, 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 uh, I help, help, okay. I'm gonna rewind just a little bit so that y'all can just. Raheem and Q, got high seat like juice. Mama hubby got life, he got three strikes too. Real niggas bleed like me, like you. That's why I got a bean with a green light too. I don't even make a scene, I just swing right through. I'm just staying on my cues and my peas like soup. Walk in my shoes, follow me. Place that to get through. Right in Jones, wave, right just keep true. I want to my birthday. I like that, man. Mm. I like that one. I like I like Brother Man. I like Brother Man. I got I got two favorites so far. Two favorites so far. This next one is OG Beeper. Um he did talk about this one on his interview with Complex a few days ago, if you guys have seen that. So Let's see what this one is about. The rapper, uh, why he move his pants up and down like the chef? Uh, my whole life, I just wanted to be a rapper. Mm. Then I grew up and the boy became a rapper. And my older sister made me wear the golden rapper. How old you? Reminds me of somebody. I feel like I've heard that before. I just I cannot put it. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. It's reminded me of some. I've heard some type of flow like that somewhere before too. I just can't think of it. Like fuck the mother, nigga. Fuck him. Okay. From the interview, he did talk about how this was mainly about him. Uh, always wanted to be a rapper, even if he was on the streets, like selling drugs and doing things that he wasn't necessarily proud of. He just always wanted to be a rapper. And so, I mean, you get that from this. Like I said, I feel like a lot of these songs are pretty self-explanatory when you really listen to it. Um, but if you did watch that complex interview, you'll get, I guess, a better understanding of some of these tracks. The next one is Kids Turned Out Fine. Yeah. 
So far, um, I find it interesting how he's choosing to kind of execute these songs. Because in his interview, he said this was his favorite track on the album. I guess a question that's on parents' minds, like, will my kid turn out fine? I think that's kind of how he worded it. That was kind of like the basis behind this song. But anyways, besides all that, I did like the production of this one. It was kind of more of like a old timey feel a little bit if you catch my drift all right so next one is hun 43rd all right <laughs> Oh, I feel like I've heard that before. Okay, so. Okay. Oh, yeah, long, bro. Stuck up in my zone all by my lonesome. Paid up on my dues up on my own funds. When it's time to war, I bought my own gun. Difference is I'm. This this one's a little nostalgic for me. ASAP 2015, like a like a little, like a little bloop of that one. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like this much of that album on this track right now. The transition into it. Yo. Oh man, okay. But I'm wholesome. Niggas say I switch up like I'm on some. Why you always treat me like I owe some in this age? Kept a prepaid on my hip and pace. 140. In the back, it's like that. -na 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 -na. I don't know if y'all heard it. Hold on. In this age, kept a prepaid on my hip and pace. 143rd in front of men the same. Camera had us wearing pain. <laughs> like that one okay that's on the list that is on the list Pro <sighs> that that really just took me back a little bit with ASAP like that was just like a little bloop of his last album the production and just like I said like how he just transitioned from that beginning portion of the beat into the first verse like oh man hold on yeah. Oh yeah, long That is Yes. That that reminded me of the last album. Just like that. Uh mm 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 Yes. Yes. That that is a favorite. That is a favorite. I definitely gotta listen to this one again. Um Can you imagine how this one sounds with some headphones on? Can you imagine you in the car with the aux plugged in? Alright, next one is called Changes. Although that did kind of just go into a completely different spectrum right there as far as the music went, I do like how it had a mellow transition back into that more of um that acoustic type of sound that we were just hearing. This is the second time he's done this. The first time he did this um, on this album is what I'm saying is with 
Oh God, which one was it? Um, I'll figure it out later. He did something like that with one of the songs earlier in the album. It was literally, it sounded like one song and it would have, if it would have ended there, cool. But then it just, boom, it comes back with something else. Like it's a completely different song. I remember it had, it had the girl on there. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I really like that. How you don't, you don't know what to expect. You, you cannot predict anything when it comes to ASAP. Um, and this album, I think, is really proving that. It still has a minute left. My biggest distractions is that I get distracted. Oh, wow. People suing me for shit that didn't happen. Right back to I wonder the how the world would be if they didn't have me. Fuck shit. Just getting at me. What I love about this one, and what I appreciate about this one, I'm, I'm starting, I feel like I appreciate a lot of things about a few of these songs. So... Do you know how many songs you can listen to and just like the transition from a completely different sounding beat is trash? If this camera dies one more time, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. Some transitions like that are trash, but with what I really, really love about ASAP is that it was such a smooth transition, okay? Like it went from you thinking, okay, well maybe the song is over to it being a whole different type of beat um, style for a second. It goes silent again. And then boom, he sat there and brought it all the way back to how it was at the very beginning of the song. I don't know if maybe I'm thinking like, these last few songs are going to be my favorite off the album, but that's the feeling I'm getting right now. Two more left. This is Black Tux, White Collar. Here we go. Justice was injustice. All black tussles get the white collars jealous. Like all my role models, either dead or in the pen. I had no choice to be the nigga that I am. Going in front to back at a bench, fucking back with the heads back to back with the gas from your head. Oh, how could I not be negative when I don't trust my relatives? Niggas went to settlements and bitches went like seven kids. Fuck fake people. Just like a married man. Know what it brings. In this world I feel lost, I feel entrapped in my thoughts. That's pretty relatable, I feel like, for a lot of people. Okay, I can roll with that one. Um, like I said, this is giving me a lot of at long last ASAP type of vibes. And I'm here, I'm present for it. Okay, last song is Purity with Frank Ocean. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh. I've been busy. Man, I've been fucking busy. Okay. I've been busy fucking. I'm fan with dog we dubbed them. Say I don't know how I to play them. The... I got a fine peace of mind. Hey. Spending time, spending out to her. Oh. Desire that wasn't felt. Born before the virus was cute. Born, I had no porn on black. Oh, oh. On the phone. This white got eggshells on my arm. My kids love. Oh, they switched up. Like the okay. focus brown. Brain up. Oof, oof, dogs in the place, loose tooth, lost in the freight, roof lost on the rape, roof lost on the weight. I'm slug teeth, chewing on nothing, you're tweaking or something, you're reaching for something, you speak and speak up and you're thinking, you're overthinking, not blinking, a pre coming, I could turn every no one into someone. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Thinking, not blinking, a pre coming, I could turn every no one into someone. Hey. Accuracy. Black call trying to hold back the call hat drop when the FaceTime calls. Don't call back, can't cope when your heart broke. So I spoke to Rose on cop something. Hold on, hold on. Saint like Joan of Arc. See, I don't know if you guys have seen like articles and stuff before the release of this, but they were talking about like Lauren Hill, Frank Ocean, basically a bunch of people being on these tracks. And if this is the one where it's saying Lauren Hill is on it, like I can hear her. 
and I can also hear Frank Ocean but you know it's distorted but if you try to like decipher it or like really listen I think I can hear them like their individual uh portions between since me and my sister would speak not a call visit in weeks lost nothing since September land seen in September 16 man it feels like I'm undone because I lose someone every release feel like a curse is in me they said Percy is going in a grief Wow, just so personal talking about his family and how long it's been since he's communicated with them and everything like that. And then talking about, you know, the peace of mind and then overthinking and then it, it was a lot. It was a lot in there. I lose someone every release, man. I don't think there was any more of a perfect way to kind of wrap up the album than with a track like that. To kind of really just, this is me. This is what's been on my mind. This is what I've been going through, what I've been uh, dealing with for however long he let people in with this song and I really really love it. Overall, how do I feel about this album? I, I feel like it definitely had its strong points. It definitely had it's kind of like weaker points I guess you could say. Um, what I loved about this is the just the work behind the production and the smoothness of the transitions in a lot of the songs when you switched up from going to one beat to this beat, one tempo to this tempo. And with some songs, how it just brought it all the way back to the beginning by the time you reach the, the end of that certain song, if that makes sense. Um, and it might, I might sound a little redundant because I feel like I said a lot of this in between some of the tracks itself that I was talking about more specifically, but I feel like it had a somewhat of a strong beginning with um, Distorted Records some of the songs in between were okay to me but then the ending was strong but my favorites would have to be in the beginning portion i really did like asap forever but i think my favorite would have to be tony tone brother man i loved the was that a flute <laughs> i loved that um the instrument usage in that song from hun 43rd all the way to purity the last four songs I heavily enjoyed I really really enjoyed those last four songs because hunt 43rd and changes and a little bit of black tux white collar gave me that just a little bit of that at long live ASAP I do like how a lot of the features had the their voices distorted if you listened or watched his complex interview he does say how this is experimental and how he is using sounds you know that he's never heard of before i can foresee him really perfecting experimenting with these sounds for like future work because there was a lot of things that i've never heard him use before in this album i feel like you can't compare the sounds from testing at long last asap and long live ASAP. They are three completely different albums as far as the sound goes. And if you've listened to all three, I think you will understand what I'm talking about. But from testing, there were parts from the 2015 album he did that I heard in those last, um, last three songs really. But in no way do I think this album is trash. I think this album is different. I think this is just a form of him developing his style even more and you know i'm here for that i'm here for the growth i'm here for the versatility and everything like that y'all my battery died but it's okay i'm on my phone right now anyways i want to hear what you guys thought in the comments so just go ahead and leave a comment below just tell me everything you're feeling with the album individual tracks etc etc um if you want me to do any more reactions album reviews whatever let me know below as well and uh, yeah, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and share this. Subscribe. Join our family, the day ones. We are growing every day, and I love you guys for that. And, you know, stay safe in these streets, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.